Welcome to Boggy Box Craft. I'm Debra. So today I'm going to upcycle this beautiful pine chest of drawers into something that's going to match my craft room decor. This is how the chest of drawers look to start with. So I've given it a really good clean to remove any dirt or grime. Then I removed the hardware, well the handles, because I'm going to replace them with something a little bit more sparkly. Then it was time to move on to the painting. Now, I'm using a type of chalk paint because you don't need much prep for it. All you've got to do is clean your furniture. You don't need a base coat or any of that jazz or any of that sanding. Who's got time to sand a piece of furniture? No one. I mean, some people do, but not me. So I'm going to be using this Rustlum's furniture paint in the color winter gray. It's a cool gray white. It's quite light, but you can see the hints of gray in there. So remember to pull out all your drawers, get in any nooks and crannies. So I did two coats of paint just to get an opaque finish so you can get the whole piece completely covered and don't miss any bits. And now we wait for 24 hours for it to fully dry. It does tell me after four hours it'll be fully dry, but I waited 24 hours just to be sure. Once the chest of drawers was fully dry, it was time to move on to all the colors. Well, not all the colors, six colors. Technically seven for my top coat. So I decanted some paint into glass jars. So I've done a yellow, a light pink, a dark pink, a purple, a blue and a green. So I've picked these colours because I wanted to match the new shiny handles I'm going to put on the chest of drawers. Seemed like a good idea. Next I took a jug of water, it's just plain tap water. I'm now going to add a little bit of water to each jar of paint to water it down. And using a normal water sprayer, I use this one for watering my plants. But today it's going to be for painting. It's going to be a nightmare to clean out afterwards and reuse for anything else but that's all right, we'll deal with that when we have to. I took the water sprayer apart so I could use it to spray paint through. Remember to protect the area around where you're painting. You're going to get paint everywhere using this technique, as I shall show you later. I thought I'd been pretty good covering every area up, but it's amazing where paint can spray to. So my plan is to spray the paint through the water sprayer onto the chest of drawers to create a splattered effect. Spraying them randomly wherever I thought I'd want them to be on the unit. And then using a sea sponge, I'm just gonna dab off the excess paint so it lies a little bit flatter and we don't get any lumps anywhere. And just to help spread the paint around and help blend the colors a little bit. So it's good to sort of spray a little bit, dab, see what you're left with, and then add more paint and dab some more until you're happy with how it's looking. I'll be honest though, this was a slightly frustrating process. The water sprayer did keep getting clogged. I had to keep watering down the paints and in between each colour I did have to spray water through my water sprayer to kind of clear out the water sprayer and unclog it before moving on to the next colour of paint. But we got there in the end, just about. I repeated this process quite a few times of just spraying paint, blending, spraying more paint, blending until I was totally happy with how it looked or as happy as I could be. And I'll be honest, I probably should have used gloves. If you're doing this, Put a pair of gloves on, be much easier to clear up afterwards. After I was happy with it, I left it to dry for 24 hours. So to seal the paint and protect my piece of furniture, I'm going to use some finishing wax. I did start by using a brush to apply this, although I found the wax just ended up going on a bit clumpy and getting stuck and just ended up being too thick a layer. So I swapped to a cloth and that was much easier. So I could get that into all the little areas, the nooks and crannies, and sort of buff it into the paint because of course my paint wasn't super flat, it's got a little, little bump. So it was quite good to have a cloth just to push that product in there. And that worked way better for getting a thin coat of finishing wax on. Once I'd finished waxing the piece and let it dry, it was time to apply some new sparkly handles. So beautiful and sparkly and reassembled my chest of drawers. So to finish this piece of furniture off and give it a luxury touch, I decided to paint the edges using Arden Bright in antique gold. I would have this gold color on everything. <laughs> and in fact, if you've watched a few of my other videos, you'll know it is everywhere in my house. So using a small paintbrush, I just painted the edges very carefully and ended up doing two coats of this to make it completely opaque. It was quite translucent after one coat. You could sort of see all the different paint colors shimmering through the gold, which which was quite nice, but not the look I was going for. So I went ahead and did a second coat of the gold, just because I could. I then waited for the gold to dry, and here we are. I am so chuffed with how this piece has turned out. Without further ado, let's take a look at the finished results. Love 
rainbow and gold. I would paint everything rainbow and gold. Maybe not every piece of furniture or Andy might have something to say about that, but here is where I might have got a tiny bit of paint on the wall, on this curtain board and on the radiator. Whoops! If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, share and subscribe. And if you subscribe, you can check out more of my DIY projects and other things I get up to. Mostly gardening and DIY and crafting. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!